Let me tell you a crazy story. I recently posted a video about a trendy game called Happy's Humble Burger Farm, which is all over YouTube with big YouTubers like 8-Bit Ryan, Cop Scouts, uh, Manly Badass Hero, uh, Super Harbor, and Corey Kenshin posting several videos about it. The game itself is extremely child-friendly and has almost zero to no gore whatsoever compared to a lot of games out there like GTA or Call of Duty. Yet, the video I posted about it was manually reviewed by a real person and it was deemed not to be suitable for advertisement. YouTube didn't stop there, however. They thought, let's take it a step further and age restrict it so it's not gonna be viewable by anyone under the age of 18. Now, YouTube is kind enough to provide an appeal element, so if content creators believe that it's been made by an error, a human reviews it manually and decides if it is child-friendly or not. However, to my personal experience and many others who I've spoken to and listened to, the appeal button is just for the show, and they don't really review videos, seems like it. It seems as if they simply reject appeals almost in every case without explanation and right after, literally after a few minutes only. So how would they be able to review the video and just make sure that what happened is accurate or not, or if it's just an error? Now, that was the case here as well. I knew the appeal wouldn't work, so I decided to contact YouTube on Twitter and explain how ridiculous the situation really is. But, as expected, they responded with an automatic reply, not addressing the problem at all. And based on my previous experience with some other videos that suffered the same fate, I knew this would happen. I didn't stop there, so I also contacted the dedicated Google support live chat on YouTube, and after almost 30 minutes of checking the video, I was provided with an automated message, pretty much the same as the one I received on Twitter, with the support refusing to provide their own thoughts. I mean, I understand, they are possibly heavily monitored and can say anything that they're not supposed to say. But none could give me a proper and clear answer to why this video was targeted and age-restricted. And what were the reasons that they targeted it? Instead of just telling me to appeal their decision and also review the guidelines and the policies. Despite calling it a human review, it's absolutely the opposite and completely robotic seems like it. And I can't help but feel that I'm stuck on the spaceship in the movie of Passengers with Chris Pratt, who was stuck with this automated uh, help desk and information desk who was going on a loop and saying that the spaceship can never make an error. Let me be clear though, I honestly love YouTube and I wouldn't be where I am without it. It has provided me with the opportunity to express myself and do something that I really love. But I can't believe at times that they just go against their own policies and guidelines and penalize creators who put their hearts and life into creating videos. One of my very first reactions was just carefully re-watching the video and analyzing what might have triggered the age restriction. Was it the amount of ketchup on the burger? Is that what triggered the age restrictions? Was it too much? Was it the fictional microchip mind controlling the fictional unseen cartoony characters? Or was it cartoony animatronic entities? Or was it due to flipping virtual patties on a virtual stove on a fictional planet? I honestly couldn't tell. I spent anywhere between one to five full days for one single video, making sure that they fully comply with YouTube guidelines and policies, avoiding any sort of controversy and any restricted words deemed bad by YouTube. Yet a video about a game based on a fictional planet, fictional cartoony characters, with almost zero shocking or graphic topics and imagery gets demonetized. What's so amazing about content creation and making videos apart from communicating with you folks is that I even got the attention of the creator of the game, Scythe Dev Team. They were so kind to praise the work I put into the video, both on YouTube and Twitter, which makes me simply disappointed and embarrassed that now it's age restricted and has limited ads, not being available without restrictions to everyone. Basically, the video is gonna go to the bottom of the barrel on the YouTube algorithm, 
but people who have only verified their age by providing an ID or credit card able to watch the video, which would be a very small percentage of people. Restricted ads also means that the video would earn a fraction of what it would have earned otherwise. This is basically my job. This is how I support myself and earn money. This video was the best performing video this month, peaking more than 1,000 views an hour roughly. And now, thanks to the manual human review, it'll flatten out and stagnate. A video that could potentially get few hundreds of thousand views or even several. In no way I want other YouTubers to suffer the same outcome as I know how much one video takes and how much each single video is important. But how is it that YouTube targets one specific channel while the same videos on the platform from different creators are absolutely fine? YouTube, all I can say is that I am extremely disappointed. I can't demonetize creators who put so much work into creating their content and you don't even care to explain or communicate with them. The problem is not having one single person throughout your platform explaining and clearly communicating why certain things happen and why a video gets targeted. I don't know who reviewed the video and decided that it's not fit for advertisers and kids, but why don't they clearly mention why they made that decision so we can get somewhere from there and discuss it? If they would tell me what the issue is and communicate clearly, I would simply change aspects of the video that they deemed inappropriate and just re-upload it. And it simply would be suitable for, for advertisers and kids according to your standards. But you don't do that. I tried reaching you on Twitter and also live support and all I got was automated responses which I could find written online with none actually addressing the issue that I raised. Being provided an option for appeal means actually reviewing it and discussing why a decision was made rather than automatically rejecting it a few minutes later. YouTube, please, I know you probably won't even watch this video and if you happen to stumble up on it, you probably would just ignore it as after all, I am a small fish in the sea of other creators. But this problem keeps on happening. Corey was recently targeted getting an unexplained strike Markiplier also had an issue a while back, but nothing seems to get fixed or looked at at all. Thanks to those creators at least for raising these issues, otherwise none of this would even be heard of at all. I wanted to create a fun video for today, but because of how ridiculously frustrating the situation is, I just couldn't. I literally couldn't think straight and focus. Imagine waking up having a big smile in the morning, thinking ahead of the video you want to make on this wonderful platform, when suddenly being hit with the age restriction and restricted ads. I got age restriction and restricted ads on a few videos about games before, which on a level I agreed might contain controversial topics. They were Doki Doki and the case of Rachel Foster, but Happy's Humble Burger Farm? Like, come on! That's just absurd. I didn't know if I wanted to just laugh or just lap myself to see if I'm still asleep or not. The problem won't stop here, however, folks. Oh, no, 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 no. As of now, after failing to correctly self-rate your videos for advertisement suitability, YouTube will manually review each video now that you post taking hours to be approved for ads, meaning slower upload time and subsequently less videos per week. YouTube, please. I know I'm not alone in this and unfortunately smaller channels like myself or even ones that are smaller than mine suffer because of this and never get heard. Sorry for posting this video, folks. I really hate controversy and drama and I mainly want to focus on creating the content that you have grown accustomed to and love. This video probably won't get anywhere and won't remove the restrictions on that video, but I just had to talk to you and bring this issue up. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to focus and have a clear mind to create more content. <sighs> Thanks for being here, folks. Love you all dearly. I hope you will at least have a better day. I will see you next time. Take care.